Hello there and welcome to this whirlwind tool of Qubits, a tool suite for visualizing quick and HCP3 connection traces. The first tool we will use is our sequence diagram, in this case showing a client-side trace, uh, where we have packets going in the two directions and of course the frames that they contain. On the left side you can see some internal client endpoint state locked in the Qlog format, for example containing congestion control variables. This becomes even more powerful when we load the opposing server-side trace because now we can correlate events to show the actual round-trip time in the network or the packet loss that was uh, induced or indeed reordering due to jitter. The second visualization is the con congestion graph which is similar to TCP trace in that it shows us in blue the data that was sent and in green the accompanying acknowledgments for that data. We also show the flow control limits uh, on the top here and also because we're using Qlog we can show the actual congestion window at this time as well as the bytes and flight. On the bottom similarly we can show the actual round trip time measurements used to drive congestion control logic and how they evolve over time as the bandwidth is probed. This allows us to very easily see weird traces like this one where the bytes and flight never actually reaches the actual congestion window due to flow control uh, limitations in this case. The third tool is our multiplexing diagram which plots each packet on a horizontal timeline and colors it depending on the stream it belongs to. So here we have 10 colors, 10 different files and we can see that here the sender uses a round robin scheduler to send these files. At least most of the time, sometimes, like here in the yellow or when there is retransmissions going on indicated by the black areas, it switches to a sequential scheduler instead. The bottom part of this graph allows us to discuss some of the head-of-line blocking issues in Quick, which we will do in the demo. Finally, we have the packetization tool, which shows how higher layer HTTP3 frames are being bundled into Quick frames and then indeed into Quick packets. Sometimes this works well, like here we have a lot of different frames into one big quick packet. Sometimes it goes wrong, where we have small H3 frames bundled in very small quick packets. Which is of course not quite good for protocol efficiency, but again quite clear immediately from this type of visualization. These and many more examples will be used to explain the protocols and how they can be used in research. All of this is available online for people to follow along at home. Thank you.